you may be wondering what happens after this period of self-isolation finishes and then everything goes back to normal. For example, will you be looking for a new job? Now, if you are, we want to help you. So these next couple of videos are just for you. Uh, today, we're going to look at transferable skills. So what are transferable skills? Well, they are skills you gain from your everyday life. So they'll be from previous jobs, from education, from hobbies, from interests, from your daily routine. Things that you may well take for granted, but employers find really valuable. And they're really useful when you're applying for any vacancies. So it's important you know what they are and how to really sell them. So I'm gonna go through with you five of the most important ones uh, that you probably already have, but they're really important when you're applying for a job. Number one, communication. If you have any experience of essentially talking to people as part of your role, whether it's in a previous job or in your personal life or um, your hobbies or sport or whatever, then that is a really valuable skill as far as employers are concerned. So have a think. Have you ever had to handle customer inquiries, write emails, write to people, make telephone calls, listen to people as part of the role? Listening is a really valuable communication skill. Uh, have you ever had to present information? Any of those things. Have a think about when you've done that because they're really important when you're applying for a job. Number two, teamwork. Have you experience of uh, working with other people towards a common goal, whether it's uh, in sport or whether it's in a previous job? Have a think about where you've uh, supported other people so that they can be included, you've helped people, you've given them what they need so they can get a job done, where you've uh, encouraged people, where you've helped to motivate people, where you've all been working towards the same thing, that's teamwork. And most employment situations now you're going to be working with other people and employers want to know that you will fit in with other people and you're able to work with them. Number three, initiative. Now initiative or using your initiative is all about working independently. So we've talked or mentioned teamwork. This is about can you work well on your own? Also it's about can you come up with uh, solutions to problems without being pushed for them? Are you the kind of person who looks for ways to improve the situation without somebody having to ask you to do that? Do you think on your feet? Are you the kind of person who comes up with new ideas? Have a think about when you've done that. Just try and come up with examples in your personal life or your previous work experience when you have done those things, when you've come up with solutions, when you've thought independently when you've been left with a job on your own and you've managed to succeed. They're all really good examples. Number four, organisation. Now this is referring to how you organise yourself and your work. So um, it's talking about things like time management, which we've done a video about, um, and also about your planning and how you prioritise tasks and jobs, etc. So if you've got any experience of even in your hobbies or your personal life, maybe you've got kids, just organising a daily routine and getting kids to school and getting things organised. They're all great examples of how you have organised yourself. And again, that's a really valuable skill for prospective employers. So again, have a think about your life and where you have planned things, organised things, managed your own time, anything like that because that's all great examples of organization skills. And number five, problem solving. Um, again, we've done an earlier video on this. If you want a little background information, I'll try and put the link to that at the end. Um, but essentially, this kind of ties in with what we were saying earlier about initiative. Are you the kind of person who um, likes to fix things, likes to come up with solutions? When something goes wrong, you don't panic, you're a bit more logical and you try and look for ways you can get around it, try and come up with solutions. Often it's not, problem solving isn't necessarily about fixing everything or having all the answers. 
It's usually what they're looking for is an attitude. It's a way of thinking. It's the kind of person who, when things go wrong, says, okay, how can we deal with this rather than just throwing in the towel? Employers love that attitude. They love that ability. So try and think of situations and real life examples from your own experience where you've done that, where something's gone wrong and you've come up with a solution. Maybe something a bit unique, a bit different. Think about, have you done it in your personal life? Have you done it with your family? Have you done it in a previous job? Have you done it with your hobbies? If so, you need to mentally log that because it will be useful when you apply for a job. So there you have it. Communication, teamwork, initiative, organization skills, and problem solving. Really useful, valuable, transferable skills that you will have on some level. Um, and you need to use them when you're applying for a job. There are other skills, obviously, which will help. Things like uh, reliability, adaptability, the ability to change along with the circumstances. Uh, any IT skills, if you can do emails or you can write a Word document or an Outlook calendar, you need to be mentioning that and using that in your applications. Uh, leadership skills, if you've had to manage a team, even if it's in uh, a hobby or a pastime or a voluntary role, then you need to be thinking about that as well because they're great examples, really useful if you're applying for a job. Um, so what next? Well, I'll put some resources in the comments section uh, below this video. Uh, I'll put some links to the previous videos we've done covering a few of those skills. Um, our next video will be about preparing for interview, so keep an eye out for that. And then we're going to do one about some interview skills as well and possibly some more after that about helping you get into a job. Uh, remember Stop Put Homes has an employment team as well to support people. But other than that, uh, take care, I'll see you again, and stay safe, goodbye.